Welcome back, Ram fam. Welcome to Black Ram GX Gaming. We're here. We're live. We got Alex Peck. Thank you for the like. Good sir. Cheers. Ooh, fresh one too. Cheers. Today we're drinking, uh, well, basically water out of a can. It's swamp water looking. It even makes you disappear. Um, thank you, William, for the like and share. We're here today doing uh, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Uh, we're in the Winter Tundra, or whatever it's called, the last area. So we got those last set of worlds to do, a couple to go back, um, and 100% here. And we'll be all wrapped up, I think, by the end of the day. After that, I've got to pick a new game. And I think what we're going to do is just go to Ape Escape, because you guys aren't voting it, and I want to play it. Um... <laughs> So we've got that, we've got Crash, we've got Tarzan. Um, so I'm going to have Hercules, which was a fantastic game. Uh, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, which was really hard to get. Um, a good looking copy, but I found one. So, you know, we got a ton of options, a lot of things I want to do, a lot of great retro games. So we'll be running through uh, a few of those until the quarry comes out. Um, there's quite a few I want to do still after that. Maybe before we do the VR. I don't know. VR is going to happen. Um, for sure. I guess we're just going to have to see day to day how it is in the summer. Because if it's a hot summer and I'm wearing a hot device on my head with a battery pack on the back of my head. Because I have a battery pack to make it last um, the full stream. I know others have said that they... Uh, only lasts about two, two and a half, three hours, somewhere in there. Depending on what you're playing, what you're doing. So, yeah, that's the plan. And uh, let's get down to it. If this is your first time watching, uh, please do go out of your way here. Drop a follow if you're over there on YouTube. Drop a sub if you're brand new. And if you've been here before, do what Alex did. Drop a like, drop a share. Do all those great things. Apparently... There was a third like, but I didn't see who it was. Also, want to do a shout out to Donald Wright, um, who dropped a follow earlier. Sherry, thank you for the like uh, as well. I've seen you've been dropping likes um, all the time in Spyro and in different groups you've shared to, so appreciate that. You're awesome. Maybe that's the last like. Let's see. Oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. And uh, William Harris as well. Appreciate you guys. William, hello. How are you doing? Aloha. I don't know why I said aloha. <laughs> You're not from Hawaii. But hey, it works. So let's get into it. Cheers to you guys, buddy. Cheers to... Uh... Make sure I got it right here. Sherry. And cheers to William. Nice. Cheers to Donald for that follow. Cheers. William, what's up? What's new? What's going on? How you been? Good to see you. No, uh -oh, that's not supposed to happen. Usually I can just turn my controller off and on and it's good. Ah, oh, I was going to put Aloha. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you should, you should. Hmm. This controller is being funky. Let's see. If this is even going to work, I don't know if I can even do this on PS1. Oh, I did, and it worked. All right, I'm always scared to pull it out on a PS1, being that you could scratch a disc or something. Thank you for. And this game is real hard to find.
And then he said it when I put hello, you're spying on my mind. I guess, I guess we've just spent, uh, enough time hanging out, chatting, that, uh, I just knew. I don't know. I just realized I gotta start taking these guys out. I'm getting demolished. You break in the PlayStation again. No, not yet, not yet, not yet. It is currently working. This controller I got, you can get uh, two of them for like 20 bucks or something like that um, online. I've seen them on uh, eBay, Amazon, a few places here. And uh, they're just PlayStation mock controllers. You can see the buttons kind of look like that or they're a little different. It's kind of hard to see. Like, um... Oh, what do they call it? They're like concentric. Concentric circles. Triangles. So you like, you know it's not original stuff. But it's, um... Wireless controller fits right in... Um, to a PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. And it has a USB. You hear that? Close my window. You can still hear kids screaming. Um, so I haven't tried it on my computer or anything, but it seems pretty legit. It's just occasionally, occasionally, it uh, wants to stick drift, and then if you just reset it, it stops. I don't know why. It's too symmetrical. It hurts. Sometimes it does. Actually, you're up tonight? Skipping Monday, maybe miss Tuesday stream? Oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Couldn't just let me get away with it, could you? Yeah, I know. I wanted to be on. It was a holiday. I had the full day, and... So it was a little off schedule for what normally I do. But that's alright, that's alright. We're back on. We're gonna beat Spyro today. Um, what else we got going on? Yeah, I've been experimenting. Saw that little flash there, don't like it. Gonna be running some ape escape. What else? I don't know, so many options. To him. Oh. So William, what you been playing? What are you doing with the long weekend? Oh, you probably didn't have a holiday on Monday, did you? I even lost a butterfly in that. It's okay, it's a double holiday. For us, them rich royals want a second week, uh, two week party, I'm guessing. Queen Smash and Tequila Slammers right now. That's true, I kind of like the queen. I mean, they do like the party, right? Where do you win? To be fair, nothing much, just Fortnite, really. Um, I'm not an avid Fortniter, but I do know that they have... Uh, Taking away the building. Now, do you like that? This 
ass is a pain in the ass. Cheers. Will you escort me past those other It's her jubilee, so apparently we celebrate even though everyone is skimped. Two words in that sentence I don't know what are. What is jubilee and what is skit? There's some British terms that I am too American to understand. he went backwards. The path this guy takes is just annoying. Will you escort me past those earth shapers? Well, that took it um, away. You can choose to build or no build. And I always play no build. So you like the no build significantly better. buddy who's been playing it who's like, oh, it's significantly better without the buildings, and I'm like, oh, is it? I never really played it in the first place. Oh, god. I did something I shouldn't have. I think I need to reset it because the screen keeps freaking out. Damn, Next time it out of saves. Feel better. Would you look after this for me? It's a celebration of how long she's been queen. Skint is broke or no money. Oh. <laughs> Everyone here is uh, struggling with the queen's reign for 70 years, so apparently we have to party. Uh, I suppose Fritz do love a party though. That's true. I've never met one so far that doesn't like to drink and have some fun. I've met quite a few now. More skilled in no as build. Build here, mode is uh, still like skilled but in a different way. If you can win in no shapers. build, usually better than uh, any player who builds. Yeah. What do they have going for them? Just that they are fast at building. And they use that to their advantage to escape or get in close. Whereas the people who are good at the no builds are actually good at just shooting and taking out players. Interesting. It's been 70 years. How old is she now? Isn't she like 98? I'm pulling that number out of my ass. I have no idea how old she is. And I get that everyone there is... Uh, Definitely having a harder time ever since what Brexit, right? I know they pretty much said, well, this is gonna be like a long haul thing, so strap in. So, yeah, well, so she's been queen since she was in her 20s. That's insane. I didn't realize how long it's been. So in your guys' like history class, do you have to learn like all royalty you've ever had? their history.
Basically, COVID plus Russia, that's true. Equals government gets to fuck us over. We were fine until those two happened. Yeah. We have a lot of comforts when there's, uh... No war and other things going on with the elites. The, the top... You know, they call them 1%, but it's far less than that. A very, very small population of people on top. When they have their pissing matches, uh, we all suffer. That's pretty much how that goes. So that's always fun. I'm gonna save when I get in here, then I'm gonna restart it since the screen's been flipping on me ever since I uh, reset my controller. Just give her a second here. I'm gonna let her stop spinning. You know, this disc isn't perfect, but. I gotta say, I'm honestly shocked at how well I've taken care of it. The case is cracked. Absolutely cracked. I've stepped on it before, so. <laughs> it happens. Nope, just interesting ones like Henry VIII, William the Conqueror, then Vikings, Celtic, and Pagan stuff. And the Romans, then World War I, World War II. Yeah, I'd say... That's pretty similar to us. Like, uh... Definitely King Henry VIII. Um... Not much about the Vikings or the Celtics. Not really much about pagans. But the Romans, World War I, World War II. Um, pretty much who was ruling the world at the time going through history. So, you know, we learn a lot about your, um, the UK Empire. Um... I feel like we skip over a lot of stuff, though. Well, you definitely do. I love history. I did, um... My one advanced placement class I did was in history. Just because I wanted more. But it was all American history, so... It wasn't particularly uh, good stuff. It was, like, policies and... Court cases that turned into laws. And, um, you definitely had to know every president, every vice president. It was a lot of real boring stuff. Now, the words are the most interesting for sure. My favorite if there's literally a reason not to get fat Henry is that reason that's funny I don't remember too much about Henry to be honest I just remember He was basically an asshole. He, uh... Spy. 
liked having wives and when they talked back or whatever, any reason he could think of to have them killed, he would do it. Oh, this is supposed to be a teleporter back. I thought. Or oh, 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 I think. Studied in college, so went deeper into other history then. Yeah, that's why I think I've done most of my history studies myself on the internet, just looking around, being hearing about a subject and then deep diving into it. Um, I think the most interesting uh, history uh, I've been looking into lately in the last few months has been. Um, like world history, planetary history, um, extinction events, in rock. super ancient, civilizations like uh, Glebeki, Tepe, mm. and Turkey that's 10,000 years old, but they had technology we didn't think was possible till 5,000 years ago. So they pretty much rewrote the rules. Uh oh. Almost successful. A lot of, a lot of cool stuff. The extinction level events that have happened are insane. And completely random. Like the asteroids and the meteors. We literally have like tens of thousands of them fly past the earth every year. And any one of them could hit the planet and do either major damage or destroy and kill everything. And we're just like, ah, who gives a fuck? <laughs> Nobody seems to care. Um, I even did hear a guy who studies these types of events. Um, once said... That right now we have the technology to mine a lot of those asteroids as they pass by. Collect the exact same resources from them that we collect from the Earth, but wouldn't destroy then the Earth. Um, we just choose not to because it would cost too much money, even though we have the resources. Um, we'd rather put them into rockets and missiles to kill each other instead of stopping the asteroids and meteors that could end all life as we know it on our planet and uh, collect resources from them rather than our planet, which was another way we could um, end all life on Earth. So, it's interesting. Because the third thing that could end all life on Earth is what we're putting the resources in, in rockets and missiles. So we're completely ass backwards in these priorities. What can you do? It's kind of, it's interesting. Henry in his younger years wasn't a guy to go against. When he was older, he was just a glutton and basically ate himself to death. Oh, jeez. Just does whatever makes him happy at that point, and food definitely does. I still do that now as well, to be fair. Don't go too deep. We uh, do an extinction-level event. Some of the stuff you read um, goes deep into it. Um, from 2012 to like 2018, I thought it was coming... Yeah, yeah, we're about, um, 200, is it, a couple thousand years past when the average ice age happens on the planet. Usually it happens about every 10,000 years, and it's been about 11, 12,000 years since the last one. So if there was an ice age, that would severely cripple um, the planet as we know it, and our population global population would go down significantly because of our lack of food that we could grow worldwide for everybody um one last speech uh super volcanoes there's at least two that have been due to go off for a long time and are far past their dates to go off like yellowstone which is only hours for me um, really should go off any day. And again, I don't think that we have solutions to these problems. I think the people who decide, um, 
what we put our money and our minds into are more focused on fighting each other than focusing on how to prevent all life on Earth being destroyed. So, I don't know. Priorities are what they are. All right, but... That's right. If you do everything in the first two sets of worlds, you do not, I repeat, do not. have to do any of the worlds either. Although, the screen keeps flipping and it's freaking me out. The nukes are coming, eh. Nah, I hope not, but we are in a crazy situation now, yeah. We got Russia back to new corner, threatening to use them. And you know the moment they use it, everyone's got to don't use it first um, policy, except for I can see the people threatening the to use it first. We're basically like, I don't give a fuck. We'll do it, whatever it takes to retain our power. And it's all about power. That's kind of disgusting. Like, <laughs> gonna really end everybody? have a little bit of power. Kenny, what's up? Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that like. I got a cheers coming your way. All right, cheers. What up? I'm Kenny. We're just talking about extinction level events, that's all. Well, it's some kind Usual of stuff. That you've what's going on? So talking about nukes, volcanoes, asteroids, um, ice ages. I mean... Could have extinction level floods too. They have happened. Um, the whole Noah's Ark thing, they think, is a real story to some degree. Um, because the story originates around the time of a massive meteor, look it up, that hit off the coast of Madagascar. And flooded, what was it, like a third of the land on Earth? Some shit that's crazy like that. Well, Mr. Crazy D, uh, what he likes and the rest, nothing, um, hoping nothing comes from it. I, I just can't imagine that anyone's crazy enough to actually do it and pull the trigger. You know, in like Amber's career, I saw. So, if you didn't hear, like on Candy's talking about here, Johnny Depp did win the trial today against Amber Heard, um, and they were both suing and counter suing for fifty million dollars. So the jury decided he wins and he gets fifteen one five million dollars. And I just read an article that her net worth is negative eight million dollars after this. So. Hopefully she's still tight with Elon Musk because she's going to need someone to bail her out. She's not going to get jobs anymore. Um, people don't want to see her in movies. There's, what, the four to five, six million person petition to get her out of Aquaman 2. And she's negative millions. This isn't like Nicolas Cage where he owed the IRS and people still loved him. So he did shit movies forever. I don't think shit movies will even take it, but who knows. In the West, not the rest. <laughs> And aliens, we can't forget those. That's true. The aliens built the pyramids. Look that one up sometime. Oh, I've looked into it. It's interesting. It's interesting. Who's Amber? No one's heard of her. I know. I, I have a hard time not making puns like that. Well, um, on the aliens thing, the U.S. Congress just did, like, a live briefing on 
UAFs or whatever, they renamed them instead of calling them UFOs. Basically, show a bunch of footage and explain what they know about them and what they could answer. Paul, thank you very much for the like. How are you doing? I watched some of the footages that they had, and it's really hard to see anything. And they never directly say that they're aliens, they just say they can't explain what they are. You know, they basically are saying, oh, it's other countries with technology that we don't know what it is and we can't track and has no visible means of propulsion. Um, it's just crazy shit. But definitely was interesting. I watched a portion of it. It was really hard to watch a lot of it. They're so boring. But, you know, whatever. He only gets 15 million, right, bro, that's not fair. Hero. I agree. 15 million isn't even what he would have got paid for one of those movies he didn't get. Um, he would have made more than that in Pirates of the Caribbean, and he would have made more than that in the third Fantastic Beasts, um, which hopefully he gets his roles back in both of those series. I just watched the Fantastic Beasts movie for, you for the first time, and... Uh, it was definitely weird having him replaced. I mean, I like the actor they replaced him with, at least. Oh god, it's inverted as fuck. I don't like that. Um, but I still think it'd be better if he came back. Personally, think Amber should be in jail. If it was the other way around, Johnny would be in jail. 100%. 100%. Beating her, yeah. He would not be allowed to watch But she gets off. And that was a lot of the arguments that um, his legal team made. Like, imagine if this was the other way around. How much different it would be treated and everything. He wouldn't need half this evidence, he wouldn't have to prove nearly as much. But they had all the evidence and everything. They had to work probably three times as hard to prove his innocence, but they did. Jeez. Hey, you. To be fair, most government footage is a hoax. It's the home videos people take that get more interesting, especially the ones of uh, lights in the sky that just hover them disappear rapidly. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting ones. I thought the um, Commander David Fraber thing was really interesting. The fighter pilot who was following the object, whatever it was, that went from 80,000 feet to like one foot above sea level. In a split second, no means of propulsion. Um, they have it on footage. It jammed their radars. Not to say that we couldn't make this technology. We most certainly could. I also thought Bob Lazar's um, testimony was really interesting because of who he is and the things he has accomplished. I don't know. I think, personally don't know that there's any um, extraterrestrial life that's ever actually been here, ever actually found our planet. But when you think about the fact that there's more planets than numbers we have words for, um, th there's got to be more than one. And we have found more than one that can support not just life, but our type of life. You know, who's to say there isn't other types of life that can survive planets we couldn't? 
Um, there's just so much we don't know. That I think it's the craziest thought in the world is that there couldn't be other way. Like, I remember how you used to be a crazy person. Even, like, in the 90s. If you believe that there was extra trust life. But now, it's like, you just know so much about space. Learned so much that I think it's more crazy to assume that it, it could be true. God, I could not get a trap in here. Paul did, that's all risky. That's Simon Pegg. That was a good movie. I haven't seen Paul in a long time, but that was pretty funny. Took me a second to remember what you were talking about when you said Paul. But in that movie, that was like their explanation why our technology has moved so fast over the last like 60 years. Seth Rogen is a uh, alien is perfect. Yeah, he did pretty good. He did pretty good. Um, oh. How old is that movie now? Wasn't that like 2013 or something? Near young children outside. What the hell are they doing there? Oh well. We'll let it go. For now. But I might have to go full Adam Sandler out there. Gosh. I don't know. Only guy on this plane without smoke, Snoop Dogg. Is that an actual thing, or like, are you just making that up? Because I don't know. I feel like that'd be an incredibly impressive feat. That's like what Snoop Dogg does. Be impressive. Cheers. Hey. 
Seed. Oh, they they did a podcast together. That's funny. Oh, I know what this is for. I like how podcasts have blown up into a legit thing. Like, uh... For the longest time I thought podcasts were a joke. And I would never listen to them. That was probably like 10 years. And now I definitely listen to podcasts. Maybe it's because I didn't know anyone in podcasts before and now I find them to be entertaining. Comedians and interesting people on there um, definitely made them think those two, and also they gained some popularity. Um, just I guess bigger people just being in it. I don't know. That worked the first couple times. They smoked cross joints and everything. Like from, uh. Oh, what's the movie? Pineapple Express? That's funny. When I find those movies when he's smoking, he's actually doing it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe there's a lot of them that do. He did weekly Ram Fam podcast. That'd be fun. I don't think I could just rant long enough. Maybe I could. I probably could. But it'd definitely be better if I had uh, some sort of guests. stuff or aliens world ending events uh, man there'd be so many things I'd want to talk about I almost kind of do it's kind of like a podcast here you know you get uh, talking about a huge range of subjects it's long form I mean, we're about as long as Rogan's podcasts, and he's got the most popular podcast in the world. You know? Different topic each week with different members. We could become the new Joe Rogan experience. Ah, same thoughts. That'd be sweet. That'd be sweet if we could get that popular. I would straight up just do podcasts if I could do <laughs> If I was that popular. No, I don't think I would. I don't think I would have as much fun. My pencil! Now I can begin calculating I think, uh, the age of the universe the again. Is what Here, I like take this orb. My guests are random. It's whoever you guys are. Whoever's in your chat and with me that day.
and today on the Ram Fam streaming podcast doohickey thingamajig, what? Uh, oh. we're joined by mm. William uh, Harris of the United Kingdom. Today we'll be talking about a variety of subjects, including world-ending events, aliens, uh, what, what were they called? Cross joints. <laughs> Nothing is off the menu. Would be the topic of these ones. You know, we've been doing the retro streaming topic for a while. Today, today, um, before the stream, I had some fun. I took my original old PS1 gray controller um, that I've had in the shoebox for about 15 years. Shoeboxes with the holes in them, so dust in there like crazy. Um, it is full of dirt and all kinds of nasty stuff. So, I was very excited to take that apart. Um, for the first time, because I haven't scared to do it for a long time. Actually, been the only hindrance to. Uh, me taking apart my PlayStation 1 or the controllers to get them to work has been my fear of absolutely destroying them. Do it, took all the parts, put them in a bucket, filled it with hot water and some soap, scrubbed them down with a toothbrush. Let them dry once they were dry, scrubbed them again because if you've ever um, cleaned a lot of stuff like that that's a little grittier. Sometimes that dark water. Uh, hide some of the grit. So once it dries, you can see it. Um, so the inside was then full of dust and a lot of rust. So I tried to scrape some rust out. Uh, air compressor sprayed a bunch of the dust out. It's been wild. And Amber, no, her <laughs> trials, trials of the turd. There was fecal matter. trial, right? I have thoroughly enjoyed um, everything. Both their dirty laundries, but especially hers. Hers has been so funny. Um, and oh, I'm dead. Super dead. Cheers. Oh, 
Okay, I read that with a full mouth of beer and I almost spit it everywhere. That's really funny. I don't know if you came up with that on your own or if you saw that somewhere, but that's hilarious. What I, what William Muir uh, quoted for anyone on YouTube that can't see the comments, said she will forever be remembered as the woman who shit Johnny's bed. I read it in my head with Johnny's voice saying that quote, and it's so much better than me saying it out loud. For the record, if you read it and just hear it in his voice. It's so good. Well, it's some consolation Just came up with it. So many orbs, if that becomes a meme, I claim it. Portal. I mean, it's easy to make one. I, I'm sure there's a lot of meme images you can use on, like, uh, Meme Creator or Meme Maker. Is an app I've been I've used for a long time. <laughs> Gotta do it in Captain Jack's voice. That's exactly how I heard it. It would be so much better. So I think most people, if they read it, like I did, um, will be able to do that in their head. His voice. Oh, I'm sorry. Tired. Um, stayed up late to watch uh, Fantastic Beasts. Three. Super upsetting that Johnny Depp wasn't in it. It was really weird. Watching that movie without him. Which I gotta say, that series has been surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. That's my take. Um, I don't know how much I really like the new character. Main character, I should say. I do like the aspect of there being the funny uh, American guy who, and I'm dead, who can't do magic and it's just kind of along for the ride. I think it was really interesting to include a non-magic character from, uh, who's not from their world. And it's sort of passing through, even though there's no way he should be there. Um, he's pretty good. I would say. Um, not as good as the originals, but I was surprised at how much I liked it. Need to watch it, but also uh, don't want to because of the whole ordeal. Um, J.K. Rowling says she wants to bring him back. It was before he won, and now that he won, I mean, there's a pretty good chance he's back. Zach Cunningham, what's going on, buddy? The weird levels. Yeah, the ones that don't have um, any talismans or anything else crazy going on. Thank you for that like, by the way. Hell yeah. Cheers. This almost straight up slipped out of my hands because I didn't realize how heavy it was. I'm, uh, it's, like, it's about this full, so pretty heavy. I like that I can do that. Disney Warner Bros. Japan compensation. You know what I think? You ever seen uh, 
the DVD versions of the old Star Wars, where they replace um, the actor who played Darth Vader with, uh, oh, what's his name? Hayden Christensen or whatever. The guy who played Anakin in the prequels, they put him as the ghost at the very end instead of um, the actor who played Darth Vader, whoever it was, from the VHS tapes. They should replace um, the guy with Johnny Depp. Just have him do the reshoots and just edit him in. I think that would be great. Oh, and now that I'm thinking about it, going back to the controller refurbishing, um, let me just say that is such a task, particularly because the screws are such a pain in the ass on these 20, 25 year old controllers. But honestly, the videos that I'll tell you, like soak it in the hot water for a while, all the plastic parts and rubber parts, that really does the job to get a lot of the dirt and grime off of them. The only other problem I have with my controller that I gotta fix up, I'm really jumping between subjects here, I'm but a uh, agent. is at the end I'm going to my secret hideout. of the cord, members of my secret it's ripped out and a little, not frazzled, but like, the uh, rubber that protects the cord is definitely uh, missing a little chunk, so I gotta get some electrical tape. I'm behind the tree. This, this is utter bullshit. I'll still drink, but this is bullshit. Me. My hideout is for members only. Or do you recut like the Snyder Cut? Yeah? Did you like the Snyder Cut more than the original? I, I liked some of it, but I gotta say, the Snyder Cut being four hours was difficult. I haven't seen it yet? Well, I hope you have um, a whole day set aside. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I'm too fat. I'll drink. Need to clean my PS5 controller. My birthday is in August, though, so just might hold out and buy a new one then. I wish that uh, I never threw out any of my old controllers or anything. Because I had some classics that I absolutely loved. These controllers. I had the see-through green one, which I did get a new one of. New, somebody else had refurbished. suggest if you can cleaning out the one you have because it's not too you know I don't know I can't say on the new controllers how bad it is there's a lot of tutorial videos um, and the equipment to do it is really cheap and probably something you already have Maybe get a second one anyway. Honestly, Xbox, I have 
like eight controllers. But, 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 but. Um, I had four for when Xbox One first came out, and by now I've had two consoles later of, they're very similar controllers, but I got the four that have the sharing capability that are all different colors. Um, none of them were like the most expensive ones. I did get one expensive one that had Resident Evil um, design on the shell itself, which was really cool. Um, got it right here, actually. There it is. It's pretty sick. Uh, but my problem with Xbox controllers and anyone who has Xbox controllers and plays like first-person shooters um, knows these issues. There's a oh, lot of yo. stick drift that happens. So if you don't know what that is, it just means that your stick, the D-pad, whatever, is slightly doesn't come center, so it's slightly over here, and it'll just always do this, always pull you in one direction. Uh, and when you're playing a first-person first shooter where it's really sensitive, I mean, it'll constantly be moving your aim instead of leaving it still where you need it. Um, it could pull you in certain situations in ways you don't want to. Could screw you over and get you killed. So I had several controllers where I didn't know how to fix the stick drift. Probably taking it apart. There's probably other things you can do um, I didn't know how to do. So I bought my controllers whenever I had bad stick drift. But now I've just got four, depending on which Xbox you're on. My Spiral, Series X or you my freed our city One X. from the claws of those evil warlocks. Please take this orb. I like to I switch between the new ones I have. I got the you green, on blue, your journey. red, and a black. I think the green's fun because of the green screen. It doesn't show up on camera. It's pretty cool. Series X controller still looks fresh. Ooh, shit. Oh, wait, the rocket's upstairs. I remember. Um, PS5. I had to get a new one last year. The one is fine. It's just dirty. Our mystical. Yeah. And really, you gotta take the shell completely apart to do a lot of the cleaning. and deep cracks. The original PS5 controller you had that issue? That's why I got the new one. Oh, sure. Yeah, stick trip seems to be a rampant problem. I've seen a lot of people post about it. Michael Payne, what's going on? Good morning. Hey, it's good morning. Well, afternoon. How are you doing, buddy? What's new? What's new? What's happening? I suppose you want an orb for doing that. Well, I'm afraid not. How about this new trailer to Pokemon Bell. Scarlet and Violet? There's a new trailer to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I know that.
we're gonna do this this time. Woo! How does it look, Mike? You could do it. Just since I haven't actually seen it. Came out nearly 12 hours ago. I have not seen one thing on social media about it. Which to me is shocking. Since Nintendo definitely advertises to me. And I'm in groups specifically for that game on Facebook. You're more excited for it? Well, it looks super good. And I know you're a big Pokemon fan. No, I am too. They're just great games. You know, I can't uh, I can't get past the classics, for sure. Those are my series. Uh-oh. You know what happens next. Wrestling. You know, because you've seen nothing but that. Maybe it's because um, you've been looking at it a lot or talking about it. I know how advertising works. I've worked in uh, advertising before. Once you show interest in something, they give you nonstop of that thing. Um, because... They want to keep your interest. So Nintendo pays a bunch of money for these ads. When people are interested, just shove those ads down your throat. So that's what happens. Ryan, what's going on, buddy? Thank you for the like and the share. How are you doing? Jeez. Joe. I've mastered the house. Ooh, ooh. Let's get up full RAM. Hell yeah. I was going to say what happened to you yesterday. Did you fall asleep? Grass go knee high. Oh no. Did you guys have like, um, the month of bees or whatever. I know um, my hometown, they ask people not to cut their lawns for the whole month of May for the bees. And the only people I've seen that managed to go all the way through have definitely knee-high grass all around or worse. And it's bad. How will you ever mow those things? You're gonna need two lawnmowers. Buy the cheapest junk one you can to get you through this first mowing, and then another one for the rest of you. That's what you gotta do. broke oh no so I had a friend come over for 70 bucks 70 bucks holy shit I can get a professional to do it for like 35 well the marketing is working for me that's how targeted online marketing works these days whatever you're interested in they shove that down your throat um, so you buy it if you go to a website You'll see ads for it. Whatever you talk about, you'll see ads for it. As long as your phone mic can pick it up. They, nobody says that that's a thing, but it 100% is a thing. Um, 
because no one wants to look creepy, but it's definitely creepy. Um, so it's weird. It's super weird, but at the same time, and this is the argument they give you, and sometimes I'm like, eh, you know what? I can't super disagree with it. Is, well, if we didn't give you targeted ads, you'd get ads for, like, just whatever. So, like, depends adult diapers and... Barbies and whatever, you know. Targeted ads give you ads for things you're interested in, but it does cause you to spend more money on... So if you ever walked away from something and didn't buy it, and then you saw a bajillion more ads, and then <laughs> bought it right after, that's why. They kept telling you to buy it until you did. I mean, not to say it hasn't worked on me, it definitely has. It's dangerous. It's dangerous how good advertising is. Super manipulative. But, yeah, that's why people pay a lot of money for it. Darn bugs are making a joke of my expensive robot scarecrow. Can you chase him you haven't down slept well lately, Ryan? Spyro. Oh man, that's bad. Heavy rain and thunderstorm there. We had uh, some lightning last night during the stream. Zach, you gave it your best for the no mo, mate. Made it to like the 10th. Oh no, and the mower stalled at least 40 times on the back. It was brutal. Ugh. I can imagine. I know a lot of people told me that they had some severe issues with their lawnmowers trying to trying to get through it. And that's why I'm getting adult diapers and Barbies. Need to change my search history. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, maybe I have to. Um, I've gotten, oh, what the hell? There's another one? I've gotten, um, Depends adult diapers ads on my sports app before. Um, Bleacher Report. I haven't had it in a few years, but there was a time when it was, every time I would look on there, I would get adult diaper ads, and I'm like, what the fuck are you trying to say to me? What are, what are you saying to me right now? I mean, I get it. Sure, we all shit our pants. We all talk about it super loud in our phones, but like... Hey, you guys don't shit your pants. Damn it, Bonnie, you lied to me about the poop sack. Um... <laughs> but no, I was super shocked. I'm like, I work in advertising, I know how this works. Why is this happening to me? Ryan Butler, thanks for the like. How are you doing? Cheers. Good to see your name again. Good to see you back in here. Appreciate you. We'll pay $50 in uh, Australian dollars to get the lawn mode. Dang, that's kind of expensive, isn't it? Um, I've definitely thought about it. If I had my own house. Our housing market right now is terrible. And I'm just not willing to pay fifty to sixty thousand dollars more than what a house is worth. That's not even fixed up or anything. Um, and then get foreclosed on later because I bit off more than I can chew. So I'll get a house eventually. It's on the list. But um, 
I thought, well, if I had to mow my own lawn, would I pay somebody else just to do it quick? The answer is probably yes. I dislike a few things more than mowing the lawn. However, what I will say is every company I've seen that mows lawns for a living, they overcharge and they underdeliver. They're almost always an okay job. Like they do, they won't do it as well as you will. They're gonna be real fast, and if they shoot a rock at something, they don't care. They just leave. <laughs> Like the guys who do it at my current building, I have to move my car when they're here. Because they, the first time, um, they mowed the little bit of lawn. There's not much around us. They just blasted all the cars. I'm like, God damn it, I gotta wash my car again. I just washed it like the day before. It's like, you fuckers. Uh, and they don't care. They've been doing it the same way ever since. Even though I said something. I had to. It's like, there's kids' toys and stuff everywhere out there. No, I don't have kids. I don't agree with the toys being there either, but they are. Like, all it takes is a kid playing with actual rocks like they used to back in the day for that to go right through someone's windshield. I don't want it to be me. I used to drive. Like, you prefer to do your own lawn, but it could take you four hours to do my lawn. Holy crap. What, you live on a farm? Why is your lawn so big? Adult diapers are good for drinking. Um, you wear them so you can shit your pants while drunk. I thought you were going to say so you can piss your pants because you're drinking. I'm sure somebody will do it. Why not? Could be fun. You know, who knows? Oh. That did not go as planned. I figured that'd be uncomfortable, wouldn't it? Wouldn't adult diapers change? Somebody asked the grandma for me. Okay, not happy about these fails here. I'm um, getting a little, little cocky. I'm trying to move a little too fast. Almost falling off twice already. Uh, whoop. Okay, all good, all good. Son of a bitch. we have to talk about Pokemon advertising NWZ vote going so long 
You know, personally, I'm allergic to bees. I hate to push anti-bee propaganda, but I think I'd mow my uh, lawn immediately and say, to hell with the bees. They have almost killed me so many times. You'll get no sympathy from me, bees. Of steering that was a fine base of steering. I found in the cow pen. Thingamajig. Michael, I have five grass areas I need to cut around all the walking paths so the rental company won't complain. It also includes my uncle's house. He knows I'm looking after. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Not a dodge ram it. It should be, shouldn't it? Robotica Farms. Down. I think they only have one world left. We did good. We did good. I appreciate the ram jokes. The more you have, the better. So it's the exact same amount in the first two, but in the last one it's significantly shorter. I don't know what we're gonna have to do here in the last hour. I'm trying to think what I could be missing. I don't think I think. I can see you've learned the value of orbs. If you're in my car, we'll fold like a gate should work piece perfectly of paper. With... What kind of car do you have? Ryan. I thought you had a few cars. Aren't you the car guy? I hate bees, they sting me in annoying areas. I'm not gonna ask which areas. Uh. stung next to my temple and I closed my hands as I was uh, using it. Caught it in my hands. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, it can only sting you once if it's a bee. If it's a wasp, it'll keep grabbing it. From the farms has got quite out of hand. I've been stung right here before. I was swimming in my pool. Um, I had grown up and it came right over the side. Just zzz. That was that. Um, With all the budget had a major panic attack um, because the venom was right there in my face, in the middle of my face, around my brain. Um, not a fan of that. Um, I was very young. I was very young at the time. Um, and didn't like needles. One of my older sisters had to hold me down while my mom gave me my uh, EpiPen because I refused to take it. 
So I'd rather die than get shot by that thing. I was semi-serious. Hated needles. But, eh, well, I lived. Stung maybe once As you can see. in a long time. I, I pulled out the stinger the and it was just doing hot. this still. It I was just twitching. Freaked me out. And it'll I was playing um, beanbags or cornhole, whatever you call it, depending on where you're from. Mm. And uh, having a beer. I was like, alright, well, if I collapse, just gonna say it's because I was stung in the leg. I'm allergic. Uh, not because I drank too much. Um, so somebody call 911 if that happens. I was like, oh my god, are you okay? Should we go now? I'm like, no, no, it'll be fine. <laughs> Nothing happened. So I don't know what stung me. I never saw it. I didn't know if it was a bee. But I, what I will say is it is entirely possible uh, to have outgrown the allergy. Uh, allergy. I ain't gonna figure that out, but, uh, it does happen. You do outgrow things. Two thousand seven Mustang GT? Damn. That sounds sexy. I want one of those. You got the cool stripes and stuff on it? Australia, we had the flu shot at school. My brother moved and broke the needle in his arm. You can do that? Sounds like uh, he learned his lesson. Maybe don't. Cheers. <laughs> you ain't getting rammed by Black Ram Gaming. You're getting rammed by the wrong ram. Rammed. Alright, that's like six points for the amount of uh, rams used. God bless America. Excellent work, dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. Yeah, don't move. Yeah, I've never thought about it when I've gotten a shot. I'm honestly not a man at all when it comes to getting shots. Um, not scared to admit it. Hate it. Don't like it. Never want them. If I get a shot, I handle it better than I used to when I was very young. I just look away, leave my arm over, let you do your thing, take the pain, even though there's really not a lot. It's just freaky to look at. I don't like things going in there. Take that how you will. The needles going in me is weird. No. Other people don't mind having objects shoved into them. Not me, not this guy. Black with a racing stripe. Ooh. Um, my second car um, had racing stripes and a big spoiler on the back. It wasn't like a cool model or anything like that, but it looked sick. I was voted best car in the school too, back in high school. Ooh. 
You need to go all out and buy a black Ram UTE? What is that? Bring the logo on it. I've got a lot of stuff with my logo on it. Game pad, shirts, Thank you for your efforts in working this attempted sweaters, shorts. I even got a pair of shorts, gym shorts. They put it on backwards. So imagine, you know, your legs here. It's the front of your legs. They put it like back here. Back and like inside. And I was like, what the hell? How do you screw that up? Look, where there's a will, there's a way. And they did it. I didn't complain, but I should. This is bad. Remember when you're getting rammed by Black Ram Gaming? <laughs> it's ramming done right the Ram way. Every day, every Ram time. You got Ram right. skip shots and just take the vitamins to boost my immune system. That might work for some things. Um, definitely taking vitamins is super good. I was taking vitamins for a while. I was really good about it. And then I... I'm not as good about it anymore. What happened to that car? Uh, what happened to that car? Good question. Uh, when I got my newer car, I upgraded to a uh, RAV4. I wanted a Honda, um, but I needed uh, some kind of a SUV type vehicle for more space. Trucks are just like 30 grand more than anything. Doesn't matter how old they are. They don't seem to appreciate the value. So it was between that, Ford Explorer, and I can't remember what the Honda CX-5, some, some shit like that, what uh, model that was, but. Um, yeah, it was between those things, and what one was the uh, RAV4. It's a good uh, make model. It's going to last a long time. That's all I cared about. So when I got that, I sold the sportier looking RAV4. When I did, I uh, had somebody online that reached out through a friend. Um, I was interested. We took it, delivered it to this guy in another city and in about two weeks he completely flipped it and totaled it so it's kind of sad it was my baby it was like uh my first real car i did have another car before that for like two months that was just like that absolute garbage starter car kind of deal and um i don't count that one because it wasn't around that long so my first true starter car um, got destroyed by somebody else in only two weeks of them owning it. So I was really sad about that. Uh, 
have two or four Dorakai with a trait. It's called the Utility or a UTE for sword. Oh, for short. I did not know that. Um, it would be cool to put my logo on it. If anyone knows it's me. People will be coming after me. Um, like I'm Johnny Depp winning trials, you know? Can't have that. I can't stand, which is why I never got uh, it worked for me all through COVID and flu. Shots make me sick. They definitely do because the last like three or four shots I've gotten um, have made me sicker than just being me and doing my own thing, for sure. Guess I can feel good and protected, but when what I'm getting the shots for make me feel sick and kind of give me that thing instead, I don't know. And I know it's not that way for everybody, because there's a lot of people that get them and feel fine, but for sure, me, I do not feel good. So I'm right there with you, Ryan. Not sure why that happens to us good people. I also don't have tats. Um, I've imagined for years that my first tattoo would be my logo. Long before I ever had it drawn out, saw it, knew what it looked like, and all that. Um, always wanted this as my first tattoo. And I'll tell you right now, it's still not a tattoo. I still don't have it. I think tattoos are cool. They look great on a lot of other people. I have so many other things to spend money on and they're expensive as fuck. You know? Hey, Vinny Mercado, what's going on, buddy? Um, how am I doing? Doing good? Doing good? Oh, should have waited another second. Um, but yeah, yeah. Doing fantastic playing some classics here, some PlayStation 1 um, olds but golds. And uh, so far, Spyro 1 and 2 have been making it all the way through. The screen on this one's been bugging out a little bit today. The first one, the audio is terrible, but it's been good. Ryan, my cousin had a 2004 Grand Prix GTP supercharged. Within a week, the guy um, that bought it blew all up. Right, oh, fire shit. It. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. I didn't even go with the COVID injection. I had no symptoms. I had, what do they call that? Vaccine illness. Bad. The first time. The second time I had vaccine illness for the first day or two and then actually had COVID the next three or four days after that. So it was just a rough ride. But after it was done, I was like, okay, I've got two shots and the antibodies. Should be good. Ah, come back here, you useless animal. Susan, thank you for the like. Hey, Shorty. Maybe I can help. What? You again? You have it. If you want to test that everybody. power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still. I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! Ryan, you and the wife, you're gonna get matching tats? Nah. I don't get tats. Nah, if I ever do get Spyro, one tat, it's gonna be my logo. Elora is using the orbs you collected to store power up energy. About it. Hunter will throw the powered up orbs to you as they... As so long as I don't get obsessive. I sometimes get obsessive about things and then go way too hard. So long as that doesn't happen with uh, tattoos, I'm fine. 
Vinny, thank you for the like as well. Kayla, thank you for the like. Oh god, they're roaring in. Hold on, I got I got cheers to uh, everybody here. Cheers, Vinny. Cheers, Kayla. Oh, don't know if you heard that. Something unplugged. Well, the stream's still working, so, uh... That's good. Oh, I'll watch right into it. What? Vinny, you're doing good? Just playing some Marvel's Avengers? On the old PS4? Nice, nice. How do you like it? I never played it. I've definitely watched some cutscenes of it and then just been super absorbed into uh, what was actually happening. But I have no idea what was going on. Um, shit. It was like Hulk, but Hulk was like super intelligent and old and like killing all the Avengers or something. I don't know. Just saw this clip. And I thought it was super interesting. I think the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy game was like a really interesting to game, I should say. Michael Payne, you got three tats. Dang, all right. What are your tats? I do like seeing other people's stats and uh, asking them what they are. What's their significance? And a lot of people do oh, their name or family members' names, kids' names, dog's name. What I've seen that I thought was really interesting, god damn it, is um kids screaming bloody murder out there. Um the gaming ones. People do like all Resident Evil on a sleeve on their leg or something. Those ones go hard. Drinking Diet Pepsi Wild Cherry? Ooh. Wait. Diet has a wild cherry? I actually have a... Oops. Yeah, it's hard to get this thing. Sorry for my noobness. Cherry Coke, right next to me. I was drinking that, uh, that's like, normally don't drink a lot of sodas, but, uh, was really good today. Got him. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
same type of that like Vinny, I had two wait to uh, the update. So it's a Marvel game on my own. Logo in the middle of your head. Jesus Christ. Ryan, can you imagine? Damn it. That could snag those out of the air. Maybe I can, maybe I just missed. Like we got a tat on your uh, arm for your grandfather. And my last name and got my family with the Southern Cross around it. Oh, nice. That's cool. I like the extra design though. Like a Pikachu in a Ted Bull costume. That would be interesting. I think I'd like to just see the art of that. Got him. Cheers. Vinny, is that a uh, Marvel game offline? And if so, are the bots any good? I feel like it'd be fun if you had a full four. You know, I really used to love um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. It really wasn't that great of a game, but your character selection made it so good. today. We still got an hour to go. Usually the last hour is a little slow. Oh, God. We got 16. Imagine if we got to 20. That doesn't happen since that day I had like 1,800 views on Elden Ring. And I would highly doubt we're even close to that because my Spyro views on average are like 70. I don't think we can ever thank you enough, Spyro. Oh. I suppose you have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me. Can't be bashful now. And I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm. I most certainly do not. Hunter? No. Those are fair business transactions. Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Sparks, can you grab them? We want you to keep all of the money. Just type in the new coordinates. We have. There. 
in every Spyro, world. You can because that's what I collect. Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Put them in my if you dragon want. horde. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on. Insomniac, so good. They're so good at making games. Like, I don't know where they started, if they started with Spyro. I'm gonna look it up while we have this going. They've done Spider-Mans, Ratchet and Clanks. Sunset Overdrive was a bust if you ask me, but you know, whatever. Pyro. They were founded in 94. 94 to 96, they made a game called Disruptor. And immediately after that went to Spyro, Ratchet and Clank, some different PS3 games. Um, and they were bought by Sony in 2019. Dang! So these games will never come back to Xbox, huh? Just gonna have to buy a PlayStation, it seems. Which kind of explains why they're making all of the Spider-Man games, you know? If they own them, they're just like, here, make games that we own. You sent it to me in a personal message? All right, let me look. That's pretty legit. Pikachu as Deadpool, well done. cutting the Pokeball in half. Man, your electric went out on oh. By the way, I'm glad you came back. Um, those thunderstorms will get you. I feel like more than not, they get me. I'm missing one orb in 400 cage. But I feel like I could have only gotten in here if I was perfect already. Step right up, Spyro, and take a hey, look this is a good game right here. I'm really liking it, bro. Inside Digimon is info. way better than Pokemon. Uh, I liked both a lot when I was a kid. Pokemon was definitely my first between the two. But I actually have, sitting right over there, Digimon World hey, hey, 1 and funny, 3. Take this I think the second one was kind of terrible. I don't know. Never played it. But one was amazing. One of the best games um, on PS1 that I've ever played. Super cool. The Welcome concept was the super unique. You know, you get sucked into the digital world or whatever. How Digimon does, you know. And. Oops. Uh, wow, that cheers. looked like it hurt, Kip. And you get given based on some choices you make early on. Either Agumon or Gabu Morimon or whatever. I don't know. Then, like, the main two from the first series Gabumon. Okay. And, uh, they can evolve based on their stats or how you've raised them, but, like, you have to constantly feed them. You have to take them to a toilet. So you have to know when they're going to have to go to the bathroom and take them there. You have to go through intense training regiments. Good job, dragon. Here's um, put them in fights they can win and all this. All right. If they lose three fights, they die for good and they're reborn. Um, with an egg, you got to start the baby evolution. Go up to in training, rookie, champion. And if you can get to ultimate, get to ultimate. It didn't go beyond that at the time. Um, while you're on a place called File Island have to go around and do various tasks to bring all the Digimon back, um, and then they serve various roles in the community there. Um, and so you see a lot of progress as you go along in the game, which is really cool. And eventually it ends with you having to take on a Mega Evolution that... 
you yourself could never fully match, but you, you, as the only human on the island, can give your guy items to make him stronger, keep healing him over and over. You basically are a cheater, a big fat cheater. Uh, son of a bitch! Cheers. Ow, that looked like. But absolutely what? loved it. One of my favorite games of all time for PlayStation. And the third one was super JRPG style. I liked it, but it's it's not as good. Corner's like half charge. At least you got that half charge though, Ryan. SMT series is far better than Pokemon and Digimon. What's SMT series? I don't know if you've heard of that one. Digimon World 2 was crap. That's where you were in the dungeons and hold on. And you had so many moves you could make and you had to catch the Digimon. I've seen some videos, I think I even tried to play it once. And I was like, this is terrible, I don't want to do it. So it's easily forgotten. Two and three were good. I thought four was fun. I played it on PS2 with um, some friends. It was actually a multi-tap game. So we got four people and you just go around and the Digimon have like various weapons, human weapons they hold on to, and you just beat the fuck out of guys. It it kinda looks like a parody. To be honest with you. Damn it again! Ah! Anyway, cheers. <laughs> Shin Magami Tensai series is way What the hell is that? Oh god. This is one of the worst oh, things like in this hurt. game, for sure. If I remember right, I've always had trouble seeing And there's even a third round that's harder. There is a new series, some of you may have heard about it. Not series, a game I should say that came out. That's supposed to be like a Pokemon knockoff. You capture the Pokemon and you use them for various things and you have a gun and you basically are fucking these things up. They're, they're not Pokemon, but they're some kind of Pokemon ripoff. So you capture them and, and like enslave them and they're super sad about it and shoot them with guns and I remember there was a huge uproar about it. People were pissed when it came out. I'm slightly curious. Slightly want to play it. I think it's PC only. It would almost have to be. Dragon Ball Z is better than Pokemon and Digimon? Whoa, 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 whoa. Now we're getting crazy. I mean, this fucking turtle, man. Um, cheers. Ow, that looked like I'm gonna say something controversial here. Dragon Ball Z was terrible. Here's why. Um, I could never watch it as a kid. That's my only argument. Hate it. Hate it to this day. For that reason. I'm jealous. Basically. I why I did that. SMT3, you turned into a demon. You persuade demons to join you like Pokemon. Um, far creepier and more challenging. Thought that was a good jump. You collect demons instead of Pokemon like that fit alongside you. You know what, now that you say that, you have brought that up before. It does sound interesting. I'll say this. I don't know what's better. These are almost all opinions. I fucked up immediately. Um, but, if we're talking popularity, Pokemon is definitely the most popular of all these things we brought up. Uh, then after that, I really cannot say what's more popular, Dragon Ball Z or Digimon. I would almost guess Dragon Ball Z has been more popular. Then Digimon. And... I'm going to say, because I've only heard about it from you, Ryan, that SMT is probably the third most popular. And that could just be marketing. It doesn't mean it, any one of them is actually better in those orders but uh yeah i mean pokemon what it was a trading card company first right so they had some roots before they ever um dove into pokemon i know the cards were before the game just like barely around the same time um definitely before the anime 
but but they did other trading cards before that. God damn it! I don't know why I can't get around him. Probably because I'm talking Ow, so much. Like... I am more than sure it's done by Game Freak as well. Which one? The, the shitty one? I think the game you're talking about is coming to Switch. Really? Oh my god. That's interesting. Three and five are the best, I think. Three and five, what, SMTs? I'm guessing since you said SMT3 earlier. All right, I'm gonna focus up on this one. I'll be back into the conversation in one and a half minutes. Son of a bitch. Now I've gotta dodge this turtle twice. Yeah. There's five of them? All right, educate me. When did the series start? What console? What era? Um, how many total is there now? And when did the most recent game come out? Those are my three questions for you, Ryan. To help me understand this series longer. Um, this series history. Longer. We did it. We did it. Hey, here. not bad. Hey, uh, not uh, a bad. And... Almost comes off Italian. Sorry, that's not a good impression of Italians if you are one. A beep and a bop and a boop. I get my information from Family Guy. Mario was a card game before it was a video game as well. Mario has facial hair, so you could tell um, that it was a face. Oh, funny, really? Don't miss that one, Tyler. Do they even make Digimon anymore? Um, I'm pretty sure they do. I could be wrong. But I know it's gone far longer than I could have ever imagined. Same as Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh has gone far beyond what I could have ever imagined it would have. Cheers. Ow, that looks also, like I noticed we don't have to 17 reactions. Uh, I'm not sure it was. Someone probably left a heart. You're amazing. I love you, whoever you are. Um, I just can't see unless it's a thumb. God damn it, I don't mean to be missing all of these. Honestly, Michael, we're gonna have to look into it. I'm gonna have to know. Do they still make Digimon stuff? I watched up to the third generation. When it got real weird. You know, by the end, um, the enemy was just like a force field that was consuming everything in like the real world. First season was real good. Season two was okay. I liked some of season three because it like changed things up. Yeah. I think I liked the Digimon animes more than the Pokemon ones. The Pokemon ones were meant for a lot younger group of people. Um, the Digimon ones were a little bit more serious. They had some more serious tones to them. I like that, you know. It was a little higher level of maturity to them, kind of. And they had a better continuing story. Like, almost every episode felt like it had something to do with the last one um, as opposed to Pokemon had a lot of random stuff going on. However, I will say this, um, having gone back uh, it was a few years ago whenever Netflix first put Digimon on, uh, 
their episodes wow, are very cut and dry. You know, there's like six or seven of the kids. And um, each episode hey, is them fella. getting their sure champion like evolution. The boom, 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 boom. Seven episodes one. straight of basically cookie cutter, um, cut and paste, skeleton. We're just going to fill it in with some skin here. And this is your episode. And so I was really disappointed when I went back and I saw that. And I'm like, oh, God. Hi, yes. They're all the same. <laughs> But at the end of each one of those segments. The story will continue and it was pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ryan, uh, SMT, they've been around nice since um, before I was able to play SMT. There's a total of five. SMT3 was back in 2009 on PS2. SMT5 is Switch only. Four is on the DS spin-off series is Persona Games. Hmm. Persona sounds familiar for some reason. But it's definitely nothing I can. I'm sorry, the sensitivity on this controller is wild. Y'all down. Two bad Spyro. The voice acting was remastered. Well, oh, that's good. If I can remember to look up this, I will have to. So, what, like one and two are PS1 era? Nice. Probably. Here's a token. They have re released the OG Digimon stuff. Ready for the. Oh, that's cool. Honestly, I get my biggest Digimon fix from playing Digimon World 1. It's maybe one of the best monster taming games that has ever existed. Hands down. Just right. what you're doing, the format. I've got a footstool down here I keep messing with and it keeps landing on something. I don't know what it is. Alright. Free, free, free. You pay no money down and make Alright. Anyone want to take bets on who we come out of the ride with? I'm gonna say. We're gonna come out with um the Yeti. The Yeti, the first round. It's a wild guess. I'm going for it. If I'm wrong, I'm going to take a drink. Really good game series is Kingdom Hearts. I absolutely loved Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. And I did... Uh, what was it called? Chain of Memories or something like that? On the Game Boy Advance? I know they remastered it later and whatnot. Never played it. But uh, I loved it. Dang it! I was going to guess one of them. Promise so for some reason one. I said the Yeti. That's a drink. Cheers. Back to take a Hop up. Um, I'm gonna say um, turtle. Going baby turtle this time. Oh, the Tomogachi Digivices. I did see that came back around. Play Kingdom Hearts 3? I do have it. I played it a little bit. At the time, I wasn't getting super into it. I was falling back to a lot more uh, multiplayer games, though. Which is part of the, the reason why I wasn't, but... But 
I think I'd like to finish it sometime. Wow, you really Wow, you really are a great shot. Is there another one here that would have one orb and 400 cash? The only thing I could think of is a speedway. Is there a speedway somewhere that I missed? They're making number four now. I did hear about that. I did hear about that. I know they made some other spin-offs for like DS and stuff and Honestly, the series got real weird. I loved one and two. I thought one and two, amazing. Beautiful games, great games. Um, really pulled emotion out of me. Completely enjoyable. Third one, I don't know. I don't know, because I just didn't play it enough. Let's see what I'm missing. Summer Forest, Glimmer, Idle Springs, Colossus, Sunny Beach, Hurricanes, Aquaria Farms, Ocean Speedway, Crushes Dungeon, Skelos Badlands, Crystal Glacier, Zephyr, Scorch. Breeze Harbor, Fractured Hills, Magma Core, Shady Oasis, Metro Speedway. Oh, I know where it is. There is a second speedway in the second set of worlds. Well, let's go back and get it. All the games tie together as well. It, they do. They do. Just to some degree, they do. Um, the main series does where you actually see the aging and the growth of those main characters. The side ones have something to do with each other. Um, Once they get so complicated, it's uh, difficult to follow along and to want to follow along. I don't know why I missed this. But I don't know. Someday I'll probably do Kingdom Hearts 3. I definitely want to finish it. I mean, obviously I'd have to restart it because I don't even remember what I've done. <laughs> These failures. They're huge. Yeah, 
absolutely huge. The biggest failures of all time. saying number three ties them all together. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, cheers. Definitely the plan to give them a try. Give it another go. I'm not playing like job. Apex or something which I haven't played in years. I mean if you follow the stream You'd see pretty much the last times I played them besides like random off Saturdays where I might have played it with somebody else from back in the day just to see what's going on. I don't know why I did that. I thought it was in a little bit. Hey! Alright, to be honest with you, I have to go to the bathroom really bad. So, oh well, right wanna go for it again? Just one minute, everybody. Actually, might as well grab these while I go. TRB! I've got to say, it is no surprise now that I've heard the rampant screaming of children outside. I thought I had closed my window. Is AFC a thing? Um, the only thing that comes to my mind is the American football championship, I believe is what it's saying. Which is one half of the NFL, the National Football League. Damn it. Hey, away I from controller. Used to be AFK stuff. away from keyboard. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure there's people that use it that say it. 
catch those. But uh, I've only hey, ever I... heard of AFK, even if it's not accurate. I know people still will say it. Hey, I heard you were. Hey, I heard you were good at this flying oh. stuff. Oh well, you wanna go for it again? Oh well. Oh well, he says. <laughs> this monster. Sam, thank you for the shares. Hell yeah, cheers. <sighs> appreciate you, appreciate you. So who else we got hanging out in here? Is it um, just Michael and Sam right now? Else. So we've only got the two hey, coolest I people heard... left. Who I'm better. Cheers, you Sam. Cheers. Hey, I'm gonna drink I a lot of beer on this one. Good? I'm not doing this on purpose. Hey, I... I mean, I am. Cheers. Gosh, you're making me blush. <laughs> hey, I, heard... I heard that's not easy to do. They say that uh, if you can make an Australian blush, that's good luck for three days. Jeez. Let's go. I'll be here till my phone dies since the electric is out. Hell, oh, hell yeah, I appreciate that, Ryan. Ryan, what do you normally watch on? You normally watch on uh, PC? I think that's caught me before on my hey, best runs. <laughs> I heard you were good at this flying. <laughs> oh, you. He is. He wants to get drunk. I'm not doing this on purpose. I just suck at this game. Let's go. Oh, you usually watch on your phone? Okay. Nice. But you don't have a charger, so it only lasts so long. And it's probably towards the end of the day, so it hasn't been charged all day. Um, so yeah, I get it. What kind of phone do you have? I mean, I've got a really good battery. I've got a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. The difference between the Ultra, the medium, and the small, whatever, was like ultimately ten bucks. So I was like, just give me the best one. Hey, I heard. Excuse me. Like ten bucks a month. That's still. Let's go. Cheers. Should I clip this whole segment of me doing this and cut out all my failures and just all my cheers? Yeah, cheers, 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 cheers. And we'll make that a God damn it. Hey, I heard you were We'll make that a TikTok and a Facebook reel and all those things. Cheers. Take a little bit to make, but it might be funny. I might do that. Yeah, no, 10. You should have a massive battery, right? Not the notes have huge batteries, since they're basically uh, tablets. This thing is unforgiving. Hey, unforgiving. We're good at this flying stuff. S21 <laughs> oh, well. Ultra for the win. There's S21s. I haven't looked in a few years. I, I don't. 
I don't follow what phones are coming out. If I see ads, I just ignore them because the one I have is the one I'm going to have for two to three years until it starts to shit out on me. And my biggest problem right now is memory. Cheers. Let's go. Got like 200 gigs and I've almost run out and I don't know how. Actually, I do. It's because <clears throat> I uh, put all my TikToks, Reels, Instagram Reels and Facebook Reels and YouTube Shorts on my phone and upload them mobily because some of the apps don't work well unless you're using a mobile. So uh, that's just what I do and I don't clean them up as much as I should. So I've got like hey, I heard you were good at a year's worth of clips Let's stockpiled go. on my phone. That eats up a lot of space. I was doing real good before I started doing that. But I just archive them on Google. <clears throat> on Google Drive and that's been nice. See that focus? Laser Way focus. To go, Spyro. You're even better yeah, than the Nokia 2210. Nokia still make phones? Is that thing breakable or not? I had a Nokia way back in the day. Unbreakable. 64 out of 64. Ryan had died on the way home from work. Went to uh, get pizza. Left it on the charger, but it only made it till halfway before the electric went out. Those superchargers are incredible, though, these days. How fast a phone can charge? You remember before there was the... <laughs> excuse me, that was a lot of beer. The supercharger? Ooh. The combination, it's killing me! Ugh. I feel good. I feel better now. Before that, when it used to take like 3-4 hours to charge your phone, now it's like an hour and a half, two hours. Um, and the battery life is like significantly doubled. It's super nice. Um, I don't know if it was my last phone or one of my previous phones. I had a charging case. So the case uh, was fat, probably double the width of the phone for an extra charger built into the back here under the camera. And then it had a USB port that plugged in the bottom another one under that that you could plug into the charging case it would fill up the charging case then your phone um, but the charging case had an extra button you press that button and it would start charging your phone on the go it'd be a little warm but not too bad and you could charge your phone one to two times a day so I had to do that to get my phone through the day because it did not get through the day once. The last one will be you throwing up. That would be funny, too. Alright, I gotta write down when that time was so I remember to go back and find it. Hey, Harry, you're good at this flying stuff. Damn, what he says. Son of a bitch, he's wrong. Um... I can't remember. Oh, yesterday there was one with these birds. You have to ride a trolley, kind of like this guy's, um, and go through. And there's a bird who says, "Trouble with the trolley, eh?" Every time you throw, uh, every time you fail. As a kid, I failed so many times, and as an adult, in this version, I failed a lot of times. Reignited trilogy, then updated ones, real easy compared. Um, but man good shot hearing it again and failing so many times just brought so many bad memories back um, Zach Cunningham 
He was in here earlier. Don't know if he's still here. But he said, uh, <laughs> he said the same thing in the chat, and I'm like, God damn it. It just, like, gives me shivers down the spine. It's funny. I like the new Samsung phones. You can use your phone as a wireless charger. You can, like, charge other things with your phone. That's unique. Uh, I'm betting I come out with the chef duck, chef duck thing. I'm wrong, over. Oh, that's not it. This one. That's not it. This one. God damn it, Jews. Just for kicks, eh, Spyro? You've already Just got your kicks. Come back any time, though. And so now at this point, I have 100% of the game, which is what gives me permanent um, super breath. And you can go in here and just rewatch any clips um, throughout the game. It's pretty interesting. No wonder I didn't get him. He's right here. What I'm thinking we're going to do here, we're going to switch it up. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work to completion as I got it resurfaced. Uh, the guy came back and said, oh, I don't think this game's going to work uh, because of these deep scratches that weren't there before. But they were there after they went in the machine. Um, so, uh, so far it's worked good. Not just good, but like way better. Um, so I'm very excited to play it. Hopefully there's not a point that I cannot pass because of those scratches. But we're gonna see what happens. So, we're gonna switch over to Ape Escape. I absolutely love this game. Great game. If you never played it, um, there was a series of them. Um, but I never played the series. I only played the original one, which I thought was the best. It was a little more. Not that there was necessarily an adult one. I thought it was a little more mature. I thought it got a little more childish after the first one. Uh, even though the first one is also for kids to some degree. Uh, but you know, what was for kids back in the day is different than now. Uh, you know, all these monkeys have fucking guns. <laughs> and there's tanks and crazy shit. Um, I love it. If it ever got remastered, it wouldn't have near the stuff it has now. And this, so this was the first, someone was saying the first dual shot game. Um, So that's why they require it. Those monkeys are packing right from the start. Hey, 
fight. Did the professor finish the time station yet? Are we gonna get to go back in time? Classic he said talking. he'd be finished with it today. Let's go. I can't wait to check out the Funny dinosaurs. Little mouse. And what about the future? Yeah, we'll keep talking because I'm going to about the That's future. Not fair. Jake, over here, watch out. Spike, the time station. No, no, run you two. It actually works. It works. It actually works. You copy we me. We did it, Natalie. We did it. The time station is complete. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. Probably still tied up, though. It's your common built a time machine hostage takeover by monkeys with helmets that make them super intelligent story. You know, Spike, can you hear me? You I must feel like it's a, it's a common story. Something awful has happened. There's been an accident. The time station has been activated by Spectre and you're being transported back in time. You'll soon arrive in the lost land when dinosaurs roam the earth. Uh -oh. Spectre has sent the apes back in time to try to change the course of history. His plans for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. You're our only chance. Two of my gadget inventions, the Stun Club and the Time Net, were also caught in the transport. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The Stun Club can be used to defend yourself against attackers. Yeah. And when you use it on the apes, they'll be stunned. Oh, and you'll have an extra second to catch them with the Time Net. There isn't time for any monkey business, Spike. <laughs> Our like fate that. is in Good your point. hands. We're depending on you. Be careful. Never really got this game, Michael. You only had the demo. I never played the demo. But, um, it was one of the first games I ever had. Uh, I probably got the PlayStation one or two years after the first model came out. I mean, like the SCPH 7000 range. I'm going for it! If anyone knows anything about those. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I had this cleaned up, the movements were super yeah. wonky. They're currently yeah. wonky, but not as bad as um, they were before I had the disc cleaned up. Yeah. It's kind of like Planet of the Apes. There's time travel, there's monkeys. And these monkeys, to some degree, do change the course of history. If I remember right, I could be wrong. So there are hints all over in these mailboxes. And that hint is just saying, as you look in the upper right, it tells me what gadget I have and which button, but I can put whatever gadget on whatever button I want. The whole point is to put them in the time net and send them back to their uh, modern time. And, uh, yeah. The apes are trying to take over the world. They are. They are. Um, so if you saw in the very beginning, there was you the monkey that was a little white hair, white chest, and whatever. He was Spencer or whatever they said his name was. I forget. And, um... He was like smarter than the average ape. And he got the super smart crown, so he's in control. The other ones have like modern intelligence. So there's those big spike coins or whatever. I'm spike. What are these? Spencer coins. I'm not saying the right name. But anyway, you collect enough of them, you can play the mini games, three mini games there. Uh, this is like the time station in between. This is where you do all your saving and everything else. Um, and then over here. 
I don't remember what these are or what they do, but once they're not scribbly scraggly, it works. This is the training space you can learn to use the gadgets you have already. Oh, okay, so when you get a new gadget, you have to go to a training area um, to learn how to use it and prove you know how to use it. So, if you ever want to redo the trainings, that's where you do it. And here, you can save, or there's a monkey book that archives all the monkeys and tells you something about each of them. It's pretty crazy. So, his speed, his attack, and his alert are the worst that could possibly be. He's a level 1 monkey. Noonan has helmet hair problems. Jar Jarji, he wants to watch wrestling. And Natty listens to loud music. You know, so you get you know, something. You get something out of this. So I already made it to the dark ruins at 12%. I'm going to save right over there. That was just a test run, seeing how far I could get on this disc. Sadly, if this disc didn't work and I had to get another one, this is a highly popular and rare game. Um, so the cost to get a replacement for it would be not cheap. But I would probably Look what I've got, a new gadget. Check it out. This is the water net. Use it when you're underwater. I equipped it with an oxygen meter. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. Michael, sorry, I didn't see this first message you sent out there. We had the PlayStation X, so the big gray box. I have never heard of a PlayStation X. But all the originals were all great boxes. That's a great big great box, but apparently I looked up the difference between the models and a lot of the components they used to make the PlayStation so powerful, they took out of mine, which still runs everything perfectly. So I was almost curious what an older model could do. So that's what a training area is like. Um, trained to use the water net. Um, the beginning there, I skipped it, but it'll tell you how many uh, monkeys there are total and how many you need to get to progress to the next stage. So in each and every stage, let's go. Um, there's completing it and then a hundred percent completing it. So when you complete it, you're forced out of the game, uh, or out of the level, whether you like it or not. Alright, I had no idea this was here. That was just a really good landing. Um, got ourselves some nets. So we need this to get up on that ledge to get that one that's thinking real hard. Try not to tip off the water one. Can't believe that just worked. Spectre, that's his name. What's that called? Spencer? Oh, that's pretty close. So those are Spectre coins. Some levels I have multiple. that one um after that i think we can go back and finish this one first one we can't finish for a while um you need a gadget some kind of little helicopter blade thing you whirl over yourself and you go flying so that one takes a while to go back and finish 
there's a monkey up on a cliff that is Hi not coming down and you cannot reach it without that. Cheers. Uh, I meant to go back and finish that one because I can't 100% complete that one. We'll do it short, soon. There's one Spectre coin, seven total monkeys, and we only need four. Unfortunately, we cannot get more than five. So we're just gonna do what we can, and we'll come back and get the other three later. Let's go! Oh, waterfall, do not wanna go there. It's advice, but who listens to it? Not I, not I. So this is a little side area. You can see the little white lights. Saying like it's like a tunnel, and that's how they did tunnels back then. Um, and that you can go down it. We cannot complete that area yet, so we're not going to do that. Alright. These blowy boys gotta go. Triangles are like any other game. Collect a hundred of them, get next one. Looks like we got a shell here. Pterodactyl wants us, probably because we're messing up her eggs. There's a monkey in there. Dang, this is one good monkey. He's really tripping me up. Get him. Oh, he sees me. Don't matter. One last monkey to get. I think that has nothing to do with this. I think this game was just, um... Yes! Ahead of its time, a little bit, trying to do a lot. And, uh, because of that, there is frame rate drops. Whether you have a brand new disc, you're playing an emulator, playing a digital version on PS3 or PS5, or you have the originals. So, if you see that, it's not the game playing like shit, that's just because they overcapacitated the disc. So about every region in time should have three levels. So now we're in the mysterious age. We start in a thick jungle. So we're gonna go back here, we're gonna 100% complete this one first, but the other two we cannot do with the gadgets that we currently have. And we'll move back to the jungle. But first, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I'm gonna come back. I think we're gonna go a little bit later. I'm gonna push the stream uh, because we're so close to 20 minutes. Maybe, just maybe, if I play an extra uh, little bit, we can get there. I, I love seeing that number, we're so close, it's a good goal. I'm gonna push it. So I'll be right back.
me know ah, what we should do. We should reach out to uh, David Williams. See if he'll come. listening to that for a while my bad who is david williams david williams great great man um comes on the stream every once in a while he used to uh, be here and watch a lot of the rest of the streams. and that's when he first came in he pops in every once in a while when we were first talking about ps1 he happened to be in here and uh he said if you get Ape Escape, you're playing that. I will watch um, every stream or play along with you or something like that. Oh, like that. So he was one of the uh, main people I knew would be happy to watch me play this. I'm hoping there's groups of Ape Escapers that will. Uh, Enjoy watching it. Hang on. You never know. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. I guess maybe you guys haven't been in here at the same time. That's fair. I don't know how to capture more of the uh, classic games crowd. Because I have not gained a follower since the end of... Um, well, I have. I have. But the number overall... Look what I've really got! Easy. A new gadget! Check it out! Since uh, Elden Ring. There's a monkey radar. Elden Ring. It'll help no. you track those monkeys down. I'm sending the, the new gadget base, over to you right now. Is... Try it out in the training room. Without Not training, dead, it will be too dangerous off. for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. Like ten times smaller than what it was. This is the monkey radar. This will help us locate the monkeys on the map. Not that one, not that one. Oh, this one. Just stream Playboy Mansion. Is that a game? Never heard of that. Spike, you are now on your way to the mysterious yeah. time of the jungle ruins. You must navigate through thick jungles. Well, I'm not surprised. It's probably like a PS1 game. Huh? Go on to explore the temple ruins, but be very careful. The temple is laden with treacherous pathways and dark dungeons. Oh yes, and you may have already noticed one thing. The apes have varying fields of vision, so in most cases you can sneak up on them by crawling around rather than running after them. You won't be noticed as quickly if you remain low to the ground. You'll discover many great things on your journey, but try to stay focused. You must locate all of the apes. Every okay. second that passes gives Spectre a chance to succeed. All right, I got it, Professor. We're counting on you. Really hammering in the point. <laughs> Hello, Professor. Remember me? It's me, Spectre, the future leader of the New Age. That's right. Apes will soon rule the world, just as it should have been from the beginning. Yeah. Spectre, what ha who, what's going what? on here? Uh, what are you planning to do? Spectre, oh yes. 
You're the monkey that performs at the amusement park. What? He's that cute little monkey that everyone loves to come and see? But how? Yes, that's right. I stumbled onto this incredible invention of yours, this peak point helmet, and it's given me remarkable knowledge and great powers. And now, I plan to rule the world. And I owe it to you, Professor. Inspect me. You should be thinking. You must Professor. listen to me carefully. It's true that the peak point helmet will augment your intelligence to heighten levels when it's worn. However, it is still incomplete. It's never been tested and may be very dangerous to use. I advise, no, I My insist sis. that you bring the peak point helmet back to me immediately. Bring it back? <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding? I'm sorry, Professor, but it's too late. I've already made duplicate helmets for my new army of apes. There's no stopping us now. The future is mine! <laughs> Don't try and trick me into giving this helmet back, Professor. I'm smarter than you. I even figured out how to use the time station. I've already sent my armies back in time to rewrite history. <laughs> no longer will humans be the dominant species. I will rule this world. Don't bother trying to stop me. <laughs> Huh, Spike will find you. Just wait, you'll see. Oh, We're not gonna stand around and let you take over. Spike? That little runt? He doesn't scare me. You know I've got a surprise for him. Jake! My friend. <laughs> I've always evil. wanted to go up against you. Now here's my chance. I'm gonna have a great time destroying you and showing you who's the real hero. What's noodle happening? Arms? What's wrong with you? Do you realize what you're saying? Do you know who you're talking to? Snap out of it. Pull yourself together. Can you hear me? It's no use. Somehow he's been brainwashed and he's being controlled by Spectre. That's right, Professor. You're very perceptive. The boy you see here isn't the same anymore. He works for me now. I'm in control. And no one, no one Using can stop me, especially not you. To serve the monkeys. Well, the I've got to go now, but I'm sure we'll be talking again Brilliant soon. Plan. Michael, the Playboy Mansion games on PC like The Sims you play as huge half. What does huge half mean? And you run the Playboy Mansion, my older brother had it on PC. I imagine that's an interesting game. I'll say that. Ryan, what an odd little game. This game is baller. One of my Let's favorite go. games from back in the day. You ever played this yeah. one? Like this game as a kid. Oh man, I absolutely love this game. It's so good. David, what's going on? Oh, you gotta be sneaky. I, I generally am, but when they're in these sacks, you gotta beat them out of it. So you can't be too sneaky on this one. But I try to do it. Nope, sure haven't. Oh. Man, you missed out. There's a whole series. I think they had like a comic and something else. Got him. 
It's a Spyro now. It started out a Spyro. But, uh... Well, it's not anymore. I had to switch it. Spelled it wrong, sorry. <laughs> David, it's Ape yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, it is. Dude, this game is phenomenal. Absolutely love it. And I have not played it in a long time. Uh, I do see another reaction there. Whoever dropped it, thank you so much. Appreciate you. I'm assuming it's a heart, because Ape Escape is amazing. You never had a PlayStation before you had an N64? Ow. Oh, that's funny. Need a flying gadget. Alright, I know what fine with us. Oh, I thought it's a Spyro, my bad. It probably does say Spyro in the title, because I started with Spyro for the first two and a half hours, and then we had a little time left over. And this game was next on my list. Uh, so... It may have said... It may still say Spyro. Because that was the primary thing that the stream was, so at the end, when I'm done, I want it to still stay Spyro. But... This is where we're at now. Oh god. That giant catfish is coming, and I am screwing up. That thing will just murder you. Welcome to the hardest thing to do in the game. Roll this damn raft. The graphics are nearly similar. They are pretty close. This is like the best of PlayStation. You have to go real slow, and I'm not gonna I wanna blitzkrieg these things. Got his ass. You remember spending so many hours on this, David? Dude, same, same. Um oh god. Catfish. I don't like it, it's just terrifying. It's so big. Prehistoric catfish. These older games are cool. I love these older games. I'm glad you think so too. The classics, and I just suddenly got in a uh, mood for these things again. You know, every once in a while, you just um, want to relive the nostalgia of the great oldies. I don't think the catfish can follow me here. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of classic levels you're gonna see in here and you're gonna go, holy shit, I remember that. Uh, It's cool, I was behind in the stream a bit. Oh, that's alright. It happens. Sometimes if you're behind the live, um, if you just leave it completely and come back in, it'll take you back to uh, the front. Oh god, I don't remember this. trying to do this at a good pace. I'm not going to. It's all connected yeah. around. What? What? Yeah. Wow. I should have been sneaking. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in the chase now. We did it. It was so much fun because, um, fun because it was some of the first 3D 
directional games. Somebody told me it was the first because it forced you to have a um, dual shot controller. If you had the original controller, it said that it just wouldn't play. It just wouldn't work. Ryan phone's almost dead. Is the power still out? They need to fix that shit. Cheers. Alright, because I'm unsure of this disc, I'm gonna save. Often. I told you that. Michael did tell me that. I remember somebody told me that in the stream. Couldn't remember who. Thank you very much, Michael. Damn. Well, Ryan, hopefully it comes on at some point throughout the night. Oh, God. Circle. Circle's usually back. But instead, they made it forward. What's weird is you see that there's a square triangle, X circle. Um, whatever you press does something. In early games, they did that. They made sure all the buttons were always used for something. But uh, in later games, they took it out. So circle back to out, X puts you forward. Square triangle does nothing. All right, 0 to 13, and there's four Spectre Coins. I don't know if we need to find all the Spectre Coins, but at least 200% you need to get all of the monkeys. To get to the final Let's go! Should probably won't be back till tomorrow. Sometime in the night. Well, Ryan, um, I'm sorry. Your electric's out. Your phone's gonna die. Um, and then I'm super happy and grateful that you've decided to use it to watch the stream. Appreciate you. Beck, I'm gonna cheers to that right now. Cheers. And I was gonna say, I see there's a few extra of you guys in here. Um, we are at 18 likes, we're almost at 20. If anyone wants to drop one in here, help us hit that uh, goal number. That would be huge. Thank you very much. Um, if you don't want to totally understand, but it would be super sweet. And if you're in here for Spyro, I'm sorry. You have to do that. It was here. It was here. Really. This is now Ape Escape, one of the greatest games ever made. So if you go to the mailbox when you're going in this direction, it tells you probably don't go here until later. There's a lot of parts of this game that you're meant to go through. Ow. Stun Club, but I was always like, it's a fucking lightsaber. said it was over, then I looked, um, 
and saw that the neighbor's tree had fallen over it and ripped the power line, that was the flash of the movie. Oh, Jesus. That's crazy. You watched Doom 2 and it was Which Which one was Doom 2? There was the Doom with the Rock, and then there was another one that like, Netflix did or something. That, I agree with you, was not good. It, it was more video game accurate than the Rock one. But it wasn't good. Alright, I need to line this up, otherwise... Oh, God. It's super easy to screw up these tight rope. And the camera angles just kind of change on their own. So we've got one monkey back there, and one right here. And the one right here... If he's alerted, he'll press one of these buttons which turns on a mega fan. Send him away. You gotta be careful, you gotta sneak up. And I think the last one we need to get is up here. So honestly, all of these... Um, there's a certain point, certain gadgets you need to beat them all. But the best thing to do is just to come back at the very end when you've got everything and you should be able to easily beat it. I'm having trouble here. Oh, jumped way too early. Oh, oh, jumped off to the side. There we go. When I was doing a test run the other day, uh, last weekend, this worked out a lot better. Gotcha. The one after. The Netflix one that came out like a year or two ago. It was comic book accurate, uh, it was game accurate, not comic book. Used to saying that from Marvel stuff. He still knows I'm here, but it's calming, calming, calming. Gotcha. Got him. Yes. Also, the tree was on the back of the other house needs car. Oh shit. The yeah, tree's going down or uh never good. Never good. They can do so much damage to a house for a car. You hate to see it. You did great. Cheers everyone, we finished? Quick. Checking, checking, checking. We're done with the thick with two C's. The jungle. Finish the dark ruins, 12%. So this is as far as I got in my um, test run. Anything after this is untested. So we're going to uncharted territory. Ryan, the electric came back on. Woo! Got some charge. You can continue to hang out. Let's go. Cheers. Look what I've got. A new gadget. Check it out. Here is the slingback shooter. Just pull back and shoot. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. There is one level I'm gonna go back and do in the prehistoric era that I know we need the slingshot for. Let's go! Okay, how do I use this? Use the slingback shooter to destroy distant enemies, tilt the right stick towards um, you and release the launched bullet. Tilt and rotate the right stick and set the target. The bullet will aim at the bullet. You know, 
They could have said, like, rock or whatever it is. Instead, they called them bullets. That's hilarious. They would not have called that in 2021 or 2022 bullets. That's the one. Yep. Which, the first two, those two movies aren't, like, really connected. But yeah, I know what you mean. That one was a cheaper version, for sure. Uh, when he looked out the window, he couldn't see it, so I had to call out to the other housemate since he had a tree on his cart. Hey, uh, buddy. There's a tree on your cart. There's a what? Come on. There's a... All right, well, you'll find out later. Pretty much one of those. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. There's only eight gadgets. Not bad. There's the flying thing, which is like here. A punchy thing. I'll find things maybe here. Race car. A hula hoop. A hula hoop's actually kind of sick. Well, which way to go? Let's go here first. wasn't as perfect back then as it is now. Started the next set of big movie series called Marvel Secret Wars. Uh, three part movie and it starts ooh, 2026. I have not seen that, but I have known that that's what um, everyone's been talking about. It's likely going to happen for a while. And I remember the Secret Wars from. Spider-Man comic cartoon or whatever from back when I was a kid and that comic cartoon thing was amazing. Uh, if you've never seen it, I would encourage you to. It's got my damn web, like six different Spider-Man, um, Adam Warlock, basically everything you're about to see here. Right. 
This one doesn't exactly have the screenshot option. One, two. Jewels got sucked right up into my body, and that's the scream that came out. You did great. That's what happens when I get scared. You gotta be careful. Uh oh. Face to face with. I've been waiting for this for a long time. This is just between you and me. Follow me. All right, I'll drink for everyone I lose, but let's be honest, I'm not gonna drink at all. Swim. He's not a fast swimmer. Okay, shit, he looks like he's moving pretty fast. Never lost a time attack until Let's now. go! The fact that he can just long jump. Also, I definitely, uh, um, 
Double jump there. So I got screwed. Alright. Squared up, made that one. Catching him, catching him. He went for the jump, that was silly. Alright, look at that kicking power, he's insane. Alright, can we make it past the spiky balls? Dude. Not only lost, but I died. That's two drinks. Cheers. Never again. Never again. Hiya. I will not be down by this blue haired fuck. I broke the game. This is where the scratch came in. Which I didn't save right before that race, did I? Shit. So I made it through that area a few times, so that's not a permanent error. this time skull the rest of your drink I don't want to skull shit I don't know what that means I assume you want me to finish don't know if I can do that either but I could I could hearing the soundtrack brings back so many good memories I know and that loading screen that loading screen is primo this game is amazing I did play the second or the third one on PS2, and I didn't think it was- oh, I hit New Game, didn't I? Restart that one more time. Um, and I didn't think it was terrible, but I thought it kind of went in a way more childish direction, like the age level it was aiming for either stayed the same or got younger as the games went on instead of continuing with um, the people who liked it originally. So I didn't like that. Um, it was like the, the Pokemon anime. We were talking about animes and um, video games and stuff and childhood stuff. Comparing what was better, Pokemon, Digimon, Dragon Ball Z, all those things, which... Only, like, Pokemon and Digimon are, really comparable. Um, and, you know, like, the Pokemon anime, it just felt like it was for a younger and younger age as it went along. Which is why I didn't like it. You kind of grow out of that real quick. So, I don't like it when things don't follow along with the age group who started with it. It's hard. It's hard to continue. Didn't play any of my to this one. And I think I just rented whatever one I did play. So, um, oh god, the soundtrack was a little Look what sketchy I there. Maybe it needs a break. It's not really. Hard. I'm going for it. There's a good Digimon for the PS1 uh, game, but I don't remember what it was. It was hard as hell. Uh, you're thinking of Digimon World? Probably Digimon World 1, the original. It wasn't called 1, it was the first. Uh, I was talking about that earlier. Fantastic game. Absolutely loved it. It was one of the best monster training games that had ever existed. Super grindy game, though. Super grindy. Um... There's even a chart of all the possible Digimon you could have. And uh, to get them all is a long time. My original playthrough as a kid, I couldn't figure out all of what to do and how to win. Um, 
but I had like 400, hours, three to 400 hours in it, and it still didn't beat the game. And now I can beat the game in like 15 hours, 20 hours. Where you raised your Digimon from an egg? That's the one! Um, you were on File Island and you had to go around the island and collect all the other Digimon. Um, if your Digimon died, it started as an egg and you had to raise it all the way to the top. It was the gym where you could train them and um, eventually evolve them up. There's no guide to know what you had to do to evolve each Digimon. There is now and it there isn't a conclusive guide. There's a guide that pretty much says, we think this is how it works, but nobody seems to really know. And that's how hard it is. So, um, David's not wrong when he says it was excruciating as a kid. It was a game for kids. Um, it was a kid's title in every way, um, but it was extremely difficult. Uh, as an adult who understands it a little bit better and can look up the guides on what to evolve in the way you want, it's a lot more fun. As a kid, it was a nightmare. He's not wrong. I spent uh, a long time. Oh, I forgot where church. Yeah. yeah. So, as I mentioned earlier, you had to uh, take your Digimon to the bathroom every time they had to go two, three times a day, depending on what kind it was. It could have been a lot or a little. Bigger ones, maybe perhaps stronger ones. They were uh, a lot of food. They had to maintain a certain weight, and you only got so much food rations. If you went beyond those food rations, you had to pay for food. Food uh, money was hard to get because you had to win fights for them. And unless you had super strong Digimon, you couldn't really win a lot of fights in a row. Because every time you fight, you gotta. Heal them up or sleep. And so they would sleep and you'd get one free heal per day. But, uh. It oftentimes wasn't a lot. And when you left the main village, you know, like you were on your own. It gets rough after that. So, by the time you leave the main village. You want to be beefy and real hot. It takes some time. It was a grind for sure. And as a kid, you don't want to do those grinds. So you're probably doing what me and David did and just heading out with baby Pokemon who are just getting absolutely rocked for everything out there. Play Monster Hunter, Monster Collection game, remastered for the Switch? No. It had a show too, didn't it? I never played that. Michael asking the same question. You ever played Monster Rancher? Um, it was cool while you played it. If you put in different CDs in, it unlocked different monsters. I thought I saw like there was an anime for that or something. Um, but no, I never played it. I think I watched like an episode or two and it was like I'm going for it. Um, just something I didn't stick with because other shit came up.
It was the other dude with the single eyeball. I do remember that. To some degree. I'm not sure I uh, ever left the town training area. Oh no. There's so much to the island other than that. Yes, there is. That's all I only remember. Watch the entire series on YouTube all seasons. Hey. That's pretty cool. cool that it's on YouTube. Ooh, got him! Yes! I'm still gonna cheers anyway. Now we're gonna go save. I'll get you next time. Ooh, five coins. I'll go up against you anytime you want. Deal. Challenge me again if you're not scared. Hiya! We're gonna save quick. Uh, go back. There's a dinosaur level. It's super fun. We're gonna go back. We're gonna do that one. Um, before we end it. David, you're gonna like remembering this level. If you like dinosaurs like I did as a kid, you're gonna like this one. So, uh, I'll be right back. It's really fun. Uh, I gotta go to the bathroom, so give me about 30 seconds. Get us to, uh, get us to those 20 likes. 18 is cool, but 20 is way, way cool. So, give me a sec. Bear with me. I'm going to see if I can't uh, push the bar. Sorry if you've been stuck with that audio. It is only, what, three seconds long. Oh, we can do the first move. That ought to be fun. So this is Krabby Beach. Now we can go with the Oceana era, which also has one of my favorites ever. One of the belly of the beast. Quinn Clements, thank you very much for the like. Good sir, cheers. We're now only one like away. Hoping we can get it. Fingers crossed. I have faith. It'll be a good time. Three monkeys left. Let's go get them. These apes thought they could escape. Not on my watch. Let's go! So that's our first extra life. I think I've done more life losing than gaining here. Okay, so now we got the shot when we get through this thing. Have I liked it yet? I thought you did. I don't know. 
If you drop a lake, we'll find out. If nothing comes up, you hit it. Alright, this is... Obnoxious. Oh, it's a monkey riding a triceratops throwing bombs. This is insane. The number didn't go Three. I have now at least, that's for sure. Yeah. Still one away. Open for uh Ow. one more. Hit that magic twenty number. Worth it. Classic Triceratops level. Now we're going to the really fun part. And the part that as a kid, I'm not gonna lie, scared the crap out of me. Thank you for the like. Hey, there's number 20. Hell yeah, my man. Appreciate you. All right, cheeks. You see the lightning in the background? The lava pits and the T-Rex and the monkey riding him. Not gonna lie, as a kid, this scared the crap out of me. Hey, he turned around and he targets me. Oh, Alright, let's see what advice we get here. T-Rex is very aggressive uh, and won't be hurt by your weapons. Hit the T-Rex and run to the rocks. When the T-Rex runs after you, jump out of the way. If he hits his head hard enough, the T-Rex just might drop him up. You're welcome, I must report you. Oh, hell yeah! Thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate that. I'll do an extra cheese for you. Oh, another monkey's 
down, another monkey's down. Oh yeah, cheese, double cheese. Cheese for Queen Rubble. Cheese for Michael Payne for uh, messaging his buddy Danny. And uh, why not do a trifecta for Danny? Cheers. That wraps up that beer. 100%. That about wraps up the stream here. Hiya. This was a good extra hour here of doing some uh, Ape Escape. It was a lot of fun playing through uh, Ripto's Rage. Being that, we got these 20 likes, which is a huge number I normally don't see. I did not think I would see again with um, classic games like this. So, um, huge shout out to everybody who decided to drop by and enjoy these classic games with me. Um, it was awesome. Huge night. And uh, I couldn't be happier because I doubt we even got 100 views. So to get um, more than 20% of the people who dropped by dropping a like um, was huge. Really enjoyed that. I should have signed into my other account. Oh, that's right. You do have no pain, no gain. That's right. No game, sorry. No pain, no game. That'd be that'd be cool. Hey, feel free to do it anytime. I'll say that right now. Feel free. I'll be here. <laughs> um, so the question of the night tonight was how many day uh, how many days in a week were there in ancient Roman times? Was it uh, five days, six days, seven days, or eight days? If you do not know, if uh, anyone's been in uh, the dark for the past few years. There is uh, currently seven days. Did the Romans do the same? Or was it different? We'll find out. My man right there, no pain, no gain. All I have left is this delicious, delicious cherry Coke that used to have ice in it, so it's at least 10% um, water. 20%. That's pure hydration right there. Hydration with bubbles. <laughs> so thank you very much, um, Michael. Appreciate you dropping by with your other account as well. Um, so let's do some shout outs quick a lot of shout outs to be done and even some I'm going to have to go back and look uh, Donald Wright thank you for the follow he followed sometime between last night and tonight's stream don't know when but hell appreciate um, you're awesome it's great getting new follows anytime especially when I'm not online love to see it um, just to see that the videos are working the shorts and all that um, creating some growth here Alex, thank you for the like. William, thank you for the like and share. William Harris, thank you for the like and chatting along early on. Even though I'm sure you were tired as shit. I'm Kenny, thank you for the like. Um, Paul Melendez, thank you for the like. Zach Cunningham, thank you for the like and chatting along with me. Um, and thank you, Zach, for helping me out. I was asking him a lot of questions early on. I have a PS1 controller that is in a lot of pieces right now. Use my original one. There's wires hanging out the side that I need to electrical tape. Um, and it was just in such disgusting condition because it's been in a shoebox for 15 years. Uh, so I asked him for some help because he's cleaned these things out before. And got it all cleaned out. It's looking nice. So hoping to use an original PS1 controller um, sometime in the next week or so. Going to take a little bit because I'm waiting on some supplies to finish her up. Um, Ryan Montgomery, thank you for the like and share and hanging out with us all night. Despite the fact that your phone was dying and you could have saved it for an emergency or something, but you you stayed in, you hung out. You're the man, Mike. <laughs> You're the man, Ryan. Sorry, I almost said Michael because I'm looking over at Michael's chat here. Um, so appreciate you, Ryan. Huge shout out to you as well. Brian Butler, thank you for the like and coming in, chatting it up, hanging out with us for Ape Escape. Um, again, even though he was here earlier for Spyro. So appreciate him coming back in, checking out, or checking in with us. Uh, Susan, thank you for the like early on here. She's been late a few times recently this week. And she's been hanging out with us here tonight. Appreciate you, Susan. Uh, Muhammad, thank you for the like. Vinny Mercado, thank you for the like and popping in. Um, and chatting with us, telling us a little bit about uh, the Avengers game. Kayla, thank you for the like. Sam, thank you for the like and share. Quentin, thank you for the pop in and the quick like. Thank you, Michael Payne the like Danny for the like Michael thank you for uh, reaching out to your buddy Danny to help us get to the 20 likes here and for popping in as no pain no gain and getting me that 21 likes hell yeah appreciate it 
that's a huge number and i'm missing some people um let's see let's see Whoever did the hearts. Uh, Devin. Oh, that's a hard last name. Sayaka, thank you very much for the like. David Williams, thank you for the like and hanging out with us here for uh, Ape Escape. And Sherry Valerie Savala, thank you for the like. Appreciate all of you. You're all awesome. That's a huge number. I didn't think it was possible for the games we're playing. Brianna, thank you for the like. Holy shit, we're up to 22 now. That's huge. Cheers. Doing big things, crazy things here. Um, so thank you again, everybody. What a body break, right? What? <laughs> Did your phone freeze or something? <laughs> it was a long body break. I was back pretty quick. I didn't think it was that bad. David, no problem, man. Hey, David, I expect to see you for the rest of Ape Escape. I need you to relieve, relive these memories with me. Relieve, whatever. It's been a long stream. No, no pain, no game. Have a good night, buddy. Have a good night. So the answer to the question, though, tonight, for anyone who is interested, um, Roman times, how many days in a week was there? Was it five, six, seven, or eight days? It's actually eight days. So what, they, they're gods with the planets, and they didn't know how uh, how many days there was in a week and how many weeks Thumbs there up, year. light skin tone. They messed up. Oh, thank you for the 100 stars. Brown? It's like brown over here. Sorry, on my stream labs. It's weird. Thank you for the thumbs up. Also hilarious. What did she say? Send that thumbs up, up, light skin tone. Thumbs up, light skin tone. She calls out your skin tone now. Well, thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up. Appreciate that. Cheers. Brian, you had to take a major poop. That's funny. Well, you gotta go when you gotta go. And, uh, on average, guys just take longer, so it happens. But what's great is you can always take your phone in with you if you're not afraid of that sort of thing, um, and hang out while 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 you're in there. Um, I've never done. I've never watched a stream on the John. I'm just kidding. Definitely have. Um, it's the perfect time. Where are you gonna go? You know, where are you gonna go? You're stuck. But you got it right. Eight days. Hell yeah, Ryan. Appreciate that. Um, you're super smart, smarter than me. Uh, I definitely did not get it right. I thought it was less. That was like six. I got it wrong. So congratulations to all of you who got it right. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more Ape Escape. Going to be running through the whole game or until my disc crashes because um, there's some scratches in it. I, I briefly remember it having issues as kids too, but it seemed to always work all the way through. So there might be occasional freezes like there was tonight, but should be able to make it all the way through. I don't know. We'll see. Um, just a lucky guess. Hey, that's all right. Sometimes educated guesses are the best guesses, and they work out. So uh, we'll be back on tomorrow, 6 to 9 Central Standard Time. Don't forget, if you're watching for the first time, even after the stream is over, drop that follow. If you're over there on YouTube, drop a sub. Otherwise, do what the other 22 amazing people have done. And drop a like. Um, so we'll see you next time for more Escape. Have a good night, and stay fresh. Cheese bags. Thank <laughs> you.